Everybody, welcome to day 44 of my Casting Everyday Challenge. Uh, I'm just going to do a very quick one today. Going to watch my one friend play uh, a game here. Um, nothing to into special. Sorry that I am, again, busy because of just school work right now. So I'm not able to sit down and do an hour-long cast like I want to, doing like some sort of uh, best of five series. So we're only going to do the one game today. And uh, this is going to be basically just rank 19, so we're probably not going to see anything too special right now. It looks like we're going to be seeing a hand buff. Uh, Hunter out of my friend Royal here, and we don't know what the Warlock is going to be. It's most likely going to be a Reno Lock. Even at rate 19, you do see Reno Locks with a good uh, bunch of cards. Would be surprised if it's a discard lock, but you never know. It's a very cheap deck to make. Now, this is a card you don't see a lot, the Drug Beast Rager, just because um, you only see it in these hand buff uh, Hunter type decks. And there you go, you drew a beast, so we'll actually be able to get that 1 1 off. It would have actually been a pretty bad thing if he didn't draw that Elk, or at least another Beast to buff, just because he didn't have a turn to play here, and not having a turn to play is very bad, especially uh, when you're a Hunter. Now, this might actually be a discard lock. It's actually going to the coin, so it gives us zero information, because Reno Lock does run a Soul Fire sometimes. It's one of those uh, tech choices that you can have. So now here's a decision that uh, it looks like it's going to be the Smuggler's Crate into the Elec. Going to get a huge Elec here on turn 3. A 6-5. That is massive for a turn 3 play. Uh, he won't be able to get the draw, but still, putting a 6-5 Beast down is really strong. Uh, the Cold Light coming in. I'm actually not sure what this uh, deck is out of Vendor. I really don't know what he's planning here, so... I like the decision here by uh, by Royal here, just going ahead and using that weapon, and then just uh, this Beastal Wrath, it gets immunity. So yeah, no point of using uh, the immune this turn, just because you're not gonna use it, you're just going face. And yeah, he's watching this. It's a faster deck, so it'll be very quick. Thank you so much, Royal. And this is just a very interesting Warlock. I don't know of what they're really running. It might be like a discard sort of zoo with that Blood Imp and that uh, Librarian. It's not really a deck you really see all that often, but this is going extremely fast here for Royal. He's going to be able to buff that Houndmaster so whenever, whenever he plays it, but easy quick shot on that Librarian. Control the board extremely well and keep going face. He's going to have 18 damage left to go, and by a Hunter, you could do that pretty quickly, especially when you're against a Warlock that doesn't seem to have any sort of... Really, I, 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 with that Cold Light, it really confuses me. And now the Life Tapping here as well is just confusing because... Okay, Sense Demons. I This is just a random deck, I feel like. I don't like it's rank 19, so it can't always be those big decks that you see all the time. So it looks like if he gets the right one, now it's going to be a Leog. That's still pretty good. That's going to be 13 damage going. That's actually lethal. Yeah, that's it, that's it right away. Thank you, Royal, so much for making this so fast for me. So that's going to be a quick shot to the face, and that's going to be it. So as you say, that was extremely fast. That's rank 19 for you. Those games can go extremely quickly. There we go. Thank you so much, Royal. But uh, anyway, thank you so much, guys, for watching me today. Uh, that's really it going to be for me. I'm so sorry. I'm just being very busy because of school, and I will be done soon. It'll be spring break for me, and I want to get down a lot of videos for you. But uh, tomorrow, I'll be back with the Big Ten game, I believe. It's either Big Ten or P PSU LCS, so it'll be multiple league games on my Twitch channel. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And yet again, I apologize, guys. See you tomorrow.